today's video, we are going through five of the most expensive and ridiculous construction mistakes in the world. Did you know that Mexico spent $16 billion on an airport, but not a single plane has ever taken off from it? And that a design flaw led to the collapse of a bridge almost the size of the Golden Gate Bridge? Do you know of any other projects that might have gone even worse? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Oroville Spillover In 2017, America's largest dam made some concerning headlines. The Oroville Dam on the Feather River in Northern California was built to provide water, power generation, and, ironically, flood control. However, as it turned out later, the dam, which was 50 years old at the time, was no longer well-maintained and not suitable for flooding. This became a big problem during the wettest winter in California. By February of 2017, heavy storms had overfilled the river to 150% of its capacity, and the water level of Lake Oroville kept rising. While in normal circumstances, the water at the bottom of the dam is released directly into the river, at a certain water level, the main spillway can be used to relieve the dam. In extreme emergencies, water can even be released over the side of the lake, but this has never been done since the opening. As more and more water built up, the operators were forced to use the main spillway to release pressure from the dam. But a short time later, they noticed a strange pattern in the water flow. And after closer inspection, they found a huge problem. The foundation and concrete were badly eroded and were beginning to give way. Proposals to upgrade the spillways of the dam had been rejected years before, and the operators weren't aware that the condition of the spillway was this bad. What normally wouldn't be a big deal became a huge problem due to the enormous water masses. But as the water level and pressure kept rising even more, workers started to prepare the opening of the emergency spillway by removing all trees on the hillside. And just a few hours later, they were forced to open the emergency spillway for the first time in the history of the Oroville Dam. As millions of gallons of water were flooding downstream, they decided to immediately evacuate 188,000 people from the area. Thankfully, water levels finally began to decrease a week later, so the residents were able to return to their homes. In total, over $875 million were spent to repair the two spillways, a project that took over a year to complete. Number 4. Tacoma Narrows Bridge for this project, we're going back in time to the 1940s. At this time, the construction of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was finished, which connected Tacoma to the Kitsap Peninsula. It was the third longest suspension bridge in the world, following right behind the George Washington Bridge and the famous Golden Gate Bridge. However, the first problem started occurring during the construction in the windy conditions. After the deck was built, it began to move vertically, which is why it got the nickname Galloping Gertie from the construction workers. Some countermeasures, such as hydraulic buffers, were installed to reduce the sway of the bridge, and on July 1, 1940, the bridge was finally opened to the public. However, these measures didn't help very much, and the bridge got more and more public attention because it was swaying so much. It got to the point that some people avoided the bridge and took a longer route, and others even traveled to Tacoma to see the spectacle. Only four months later, what many had already warned about happened. Due to strong winds, the bridge started to sway. Unlike usual, however, these swayings became increasingly severe, and this time the bridge completely collapsed into the water below. Fortunately, no one was injured, as the problems had been known for some time. The engineers in charge of making the bridge soon learned that their method of construction was completely flawed, with no support system to keep the bridge in place. The bridge quickly became famous as the most dramatic failure in bridge engineering history. Engineers realized that the entire field of bridge construction had to be upgraded. Ten years later, Washington opened up an updated version of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge with a web truss. Fast forward 70 years, and that version is still standing today. The state even added a parallel bridge in 2007, with four lanes opening for those traveling east, and another four lanes for drivers going west. With all its additions, the bridge cost over $786 million to complete. Number 3. Mexico City Texcoco Airport 
In September of 2014, President Enrique Peña Nieto of Mexico announced his plans to build the biggest infrastructure project that Mexico had seen in over 100 years. Hoy anuncio que el gobierno federal construirá un nuevo aeropuerto internacional de la Ciudad de México. The Texcoco Airport. The nation needed a bigger airport in order to keep up with the growing amount of people traveling through it. It was expected to be Mexico's new international airport, replacing the most popular airport in Latin America, the International Airport in Mexico City. President Peña Nieto planned to build the airport in a series of phases, with the first phase to be completed in 2020 and the last in 2065. By the end of the project, the airport was supposed to have six runways and hold up to 125 million passengers per year, making it one of the largest in the world. The project was estimated to cost just a little over $13 billion. This, however, meant that Mexico had to borrow billions of dollars in loans with interest to finance the project. Just four years later, in 2018, the new president, Andrés Manuel López Obrador, made it very clear during his campaign that he wanted to cancel the airport project. According to him, there were allegations of corruption and cost overruns in the project. But even more importantly, the airport was being built on land that is sinking. All this justified canceling the airport. In addition, President López Obrador said that it would be much cheaper for Mexico to cancel Texcoco Airport and build an entire new and smaller airport. A national referendum, which showed an overwhelming rejection of the new airport, finally decided to abandon the construction. By then, construction was almost 30% finished, and it was later revealed that Mexico lost over $16 billion by scrapping the airport. Instead of the Texcoco Airport, Mexico is now building a much smaller airport on an Air Force base. This new idea will cost an additional $3.6 billion and will handle around 20 million passengers per year once it's completed in 2022. Number 2. Vidara Hotel, Las Vegas Now referred to as the Death Ray Hotel, the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas first caught people's attention in 2010 guests started to report that they were leaving the hotel with severe sunburn after taking a visit to the pool. The curved design of the hotel created the same effect as a magnifying glass in the sun. The sunlight would directly hit the pool during the day, heating it up to over 42 degrees Celsius. Customers started to complain about the sun being strong enough to singe their hair and leave harsh burns across their bodies. It was even hot enough to melt plastic near the pool. To fix the problem, they decided to install a collection of large blue umbrellas near the pool to keep people from burning up. They also added a protective film around the building as an extra precaution. However, some hotel guests still report that the heat is pretty intense, even though it may not be as harsh as it was before. But the story doesn't end here. The same architect built the walkie-talkie in London, which we featured in part one of this series. The curved glass facade of this building even melted parts of cars on the opposite sidewalk. To demonstrate the heat, this reporter even fried an egg on the street. Later, they installed a sunshade for around $14 million. Number 1. California High Speed Rail In 2008, the California State Legislature, along with the residents of the state, approved plans to build the California High Speed Rail after 12 years of planning. The hope was that the bullet train would run from the Bay Area to Southern California to shorten the travel time between major cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. The project was originally supposed to cost $68 billion, and the White House ended up giving the state a little over $6 billion to help fund it in 2010. Construction finally started in 2015, but was soon halted three years later under former President Donald Trump. Trump asked California to return the money back to the White House, which Governor Gavin Newsom refused to do. The plan was for the rail to be finished in 2020, but it suffered repeated delays because of mismanagement. Although this was the largest construction project in California's history, only 10 people were originally slated to manage the project. The consultants were convinced that they could handle the project and save the state a lot of money by not hiring a large team of engineers and other experts. The state trusted them for the next few years, and their work was overseen only by a small group of people from the government. 
Even though the team that worked on the high-speed rail line has since been expanded, the poor management and many other problems led to the project being more than a decade behind schedule. Plus, due to bad advice from consultants, they have surpassed their budget by more than $44 billion. Governor Newsom decided that the project was too ambitious in the first place and cut its length in 2019. Now, instead of traveling 920 kilometers, it will only stretch to 275 kilometers. At this point, a lot of Californians think that the project has become a huge waste of state money, and this project could go down in history as one of the most mismanaged mega projects in the USA. Which of these five projects did you like the most? Do you know of any other projects that might have gone even worse? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.